The tradition of men going shirtless at the beach is a common sight in the United States today, but it wasn't always this way. For decades, societal norms and even legal restrictions governed what could be worn, or not worn, at public beaches. This video will explore the history of men going shirtless at the beach in the United States, providing a general timeline and discussing the pivotal event that took place in Atlantic City. At the turn of the 20th century, modesty was the order of the day. Swimwear for both men and women was designed to cover as much skin as possible. Men's swimwear typically included a tank top or short-sleeved shirt, often made of wool or cotton, and shorts that reached the knees. In some cases, men's swimwear even included stockings to cover their legs. As the Roaring Twenties unfolded, societal norms began to change, and swimwear designs reflected this shift. Men's swimwear started to reveal more skin, with tank tops becoming more popular and shorts becoming shorter. However, going completely shirtless was still not widely accepted and was often considered scandalous. The turning point in the history of men going shirtless at the beach can be traced back to a series of events in Atlantic City, New Jersey, in the early 1930s. Atlantic City, a popular beach resort, had strict regulations on beach attire. Men were required to wear a top at all times while on the beach, and those who didn't comply risked arrest. In 1934, a group of men led by a vacationer named Edward Raymond Cochran decided to challenge these regulations. The men removed their shirts and marched down the beach, ultimately being arrested for violating the town's ordinances. The case drew significant media attention, and the ensuing public debate helped to bring the issue of men going shirtless at the beach to the forefront of the national conversation. This incident in Atlantic City set the stage for a more widespread shift in societal attitudes towards beachwear. By the mid to late 1930s, more and more men across the United States began to embrace going shirtless at the beach, and local authorities started to relax their regulations on beach attire. The change was slow and gradual, with some areas of the country still enforcing strict dress codes well into the 1940s. Despite the lingering resistance in some areas, the trend of men going shirtless at the beach continued to gain momentum. By the 1950s, it had become the norm in most parts of the United States. The advent of new swimwear materials, such as nylon and later spandex, allowed for the development of more form-fitting and comfortable swim trunks. This, in turn, further popularized the idea of men going shirtless at the beach. Today, the sight of men going shirtless at the beach is a completely commonplace and universally accepted phenomenon in the United States. This transformation in beach attire and societal norms can be traced back to the early 20th century, with the pivotal events in Atlantic City acting as a turning point. This period marked the beginning of men reclaiming and reshaping societal attitudes towards their bodies. Men began to take control of the narrative concerning their own forms, asserting their right to present themselves in a way that was not dictated or regulated by others. They established a precedent for body confidence among men, taking pride in their own physiques. The evolution of attitudes towards men's beach attire therefore represents not only a shift in fashion, but also a profound societal and cultural change towards positive body image for men.
I've waited before. I know that it's you. If you knock at my door, I know you're around by the sound of my pounding heart. I see a million faces, but all I can see is you. A million little traces keep bringing.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this.